Hey everybody, it's time to do my weekly unboxing of my eBay comics and my mycomicshop.com comics. This week I do have an eBay um, shipment that came in. Not every week do I get from uh, do I get comics from eBay, but this is something that's been delayed for a long time. I may have talked about it before. Uh, there's one book in particular, in particular, that uh, that held it up. And the, the seller, oh God, I mean, and I had one other, another book that was going to be shipped with it. This book got held up like about almost a month or maybe longer. Um, and there was another book that already was, was out, like it was a Hulk um, Nakayama variant. And that book somehow disappeared the time that they were waiting for this one book to come in so i had to take you know another hulk book in, ex in exchange for that so here's some books that are probably a month or so old starting with the one off the top you can see there is a Sp amazing spider-man 88 the design variant uh this de design variant is pretty cool I i'm kind of a design variant freak i, I like them for some reason it's my thing. This one was um, this one in ten, so this was like a little bit more than ratio. Uh, I've had a change of heart as far as uh, buying ratio comics now. Uh, I'm not going to get anything bigger than probably a one in ten going forward, unless I wait months down the road to see if they hold their value. If uh, they, they drop in value, then I'll, I'll get them. Otherwise, I'm not going to pay like multiples or close to ratio for like a 1 in 25 or especially like a 1 in 50 or a 1 in 100 which I've done in the past so this this fits the criteria it's a, it's a ratio variant it's a key issue and um, it's in the in the budget so took a long while to get here but thank god it did so, and it seems to be in good shape next one is the same book which uh, was cover price thank goodness uh, a month ago, you know, a month and a half ago, and it's still a cover price. First appearance of Queen uh, Queen Goblin, uh, number 88, ASM. So this is my, my third copy of this, maybe? Second, third copy. It's pretty cool. And here's the culprit right here. Super massive. Super massive got kicked back like... Oh God! At least six weeks, maybe maybe uh, two months. Uh, this is in the radiant black, radiant red. That universe. This better be good. <laughs> Damn it! This held up. This held up my shipment. It cost me a, a book. Uh, so th this better be worth it. Uh, it's a six ninety nine cover. Jeez. I don't think I even read this. The radiant black universe is pretty good though. So hopefully this is good too. And this is what I got. Uh, it should have been a Nakayama variant. No, oh, it's, it's not damaged. Look at all the damage in the corner, but it seems like it's just on the on, on the bag. It ends up. It's a cover A of a um, Hulk by Donny Cates and Ryan Otley, number three, which is a key. It's the the first uh, appearance of that uh, that the first cameo appearance of that creature. I think it's known as um, the Titan or something like that. This is a the spider like creature. Or, uh, yeah, so I'll take this one. Thankfully, I already have a Nakayama variant. So, <laughs> first world problems, not the worst thing in the world to happen. So, the main event now is um, the MyComicShop.com shipment. The weekly version of it. Ah. These boxes come in handy. Too. I've used these a few times to ship um, lots of books on eBay or elsewhere. These boxes are awesome. They're up. Somebody in the shipping department wears a lot of cologne. <laughs> Always get that. Mm, that, that rosy smell. Okay. Let's see. Nice thick stack as usual. Hmm. 
like to preserve these bags too. They make pretty good uh, little buffers when I'm shipping other people's books out. I always save shipping supplies. We use recycle, folks. Okay. Start her up. A little bit of paperwork. Uh, and these in this one too. So, off the top. Hey, another copy of ASM number 89, I want to say. This is the origin of Queen Goblin. So, it's a kind of a Queen Goblin windfall <laughs> by, by some quirk of fate. That's nice. This looks to be in a it's near mint cover price. Gotta love that. MyComicShop.com. Oh. Captain Marvel, number 38, cover 36, cover B. Uh, this is a first appearance of her on, using her new powers. Uh, the B cover is like a spoiler cover. This one was uh, fine, so I probably got it for around cover price or less at least. Uh, so it's, it still looks fine to me. Literally fine. I'll take that for a lesser price. I'm not a big... A big stickler for high grades. Uh, I just don't want it to look like crap. <laughs> you know, if it's super high grade, that'd be nice, but uh, not always. And this is Thor, it's second printing of number what, 20 or 20? Uh, number 20. Uh, second printing, I want to say. Cover D. Uh, this is um, the spoiler cover of this one as well. I already have a, at least one copy of number 20. Don't have that cover though. Next. Ooh, man. Oh, man. This is. Uh, I was trying to get that. Um, that Riri Williams uh, Black History Month cover, but that is that, that is like uh, hunting Sasquatch in the wild. You can't find that one, man. I got, uh, I want to say I got a couple of covers of this one. This is the, uh, what's her, uh, her Polaris or God, uh, Monica. Monica's uh, name for this character. Uh, Pulsar. I don't remember. <laughs> it's too many things. What is this? Uh, it's uh, Monica Rambo. Uh, and I think it's a uh, it's sway, yeah, it's a uh, swaby, it's a swaby variant. So I think this would be another one. Yeah, two swaby variants, cover price. I'm happy about that. It's that dude is talented. Very nice, very very nice. Both near mint at cover price. And this is a Miles Morales number thirty-five of. The Assessor and Quantum return to finish Miles off. And there's a first appearance in here, I think, also, which is why I picked it up. Yep, also a cover price book, not a pre order. Upside downer. This was a cover price book, also. This is uh, this is some first appearances in here. I never, I, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but I know I picked this up because there was a first appearance in there. Uh, this is the one of the Dark Ages uh, book that I'm missing, number four. Uh, cover A, number four. They were plentiful on my comic shop com too. So anybody's missing them, pick them up. And I picked this one up because it was uh, also listed in fine. Uh, maybe even um, VG. This is VG. So this was like, I want to say like two ninety nine or something like that. So it was like way cheaper than cover price. Uh, may have a tick or two on it the corners look fine i don't know maybe there's like a a stain or something on it. But I, sometimes they they uh they undergrade their books a lot so i already got a copy of this but i wanted one that was uh i love the cover on it the john boy cover i just wanted an extra one to, to read i can leave the john boy cover intact as it is nice punchline cover on this one like that price couldn't turn it down Love a bargain. And that guy. Bam. And white, number two. Second printing. Just because it's white, number two. Or it's because it's white. And it's the second printing. And they only print uh, 2,500 copies of each copy. So now I have two of this one, too. I have two of each. Uh, at least two copies of every copy of white, one through six. And this this is also near mint. This is, all, this is sold out now. Um, these are all gone from my comic shop, so only on eBay. Okay, 
first time getting this one. I, I thought I pre-ordered this, but I suppose not. Um, maybe I did pre-order. This hasn't come in yet. Those are kind of behind. But this one I bought for cover price a couple weeks ago when it came out, and it's just now getting around to, to being shipped. So I finally get to read this. Uh, it's first appearance is in this too. Uh, it's another reboot for Ghost Rider. That's what Marvel does. You know, they reboot. Sometimes they're important reboots. Sometimes not. But this is uh, this is interesting. I think I ordered another one too, which could be in here. Oh, but here is uh, Electra, Black, White, and Blood, number two. And this is a um, Adam Hughes variant. Uh, well, my AH uh, and my Adam Hughes variants. And this is... Uh, a negative space, which is kind of nice. A lot of people using the negative space now. I would think it's a very nice uh, little element to throw in the covers for cover freaks like myself who love buying books just for covers. And uh, yeah, this is a book I'm not reading, but just another in the Adam Hughes collection. And hey, here's another spec. This is haven't seen these anywhere else in stores. And it's also sold out now on mycomicshop.com. So, um, Star Wars The High Republic number 13, I want to say it is. Yeah, number 13, the final issue. Uh, there's a first appearance in here, as, as most Star Wars books have first appearances in them. Uh, and this is a last, the final issue of that run. So, I, I am specking hard on all things High Republic and High Republic Adventures because, just because it's Star Wars. And uh, it's in production right now for a live action Disney Plus thing. This is nice. Ooh, Amazing Spider-Man number 18. Is it 90? Yeah, number 90. And this is <laughs> the Queen Goblin. What's more, what's more with the Queen Goblin appearances? Uh, Black Cat getting the business at the bottom there. And Spidey getting getting just this woman handled <laughs> by his collar. Uh, that's the Ben Riley Spider-Man, I'm pretty sure. Nice cover, though. Beyond, it's beyond stuff. It's just like another reason to sell four books a month, but that, that's fine. And Fallings of the Darkness. I pre ordered this one. I think I mentioned the pre orders now, but this one was like less than cover price. This was 35% off. I already picked up one from my my LCS because I stuffed this book. Uh, this is a behemoth book, and uh, Damien Connolly is the creator of this. I think they uh, draw and write this. Headed for a, a review, and since it was pre-ordered, I got this, the the B cover as well. I think it's a B cover, uh, but it's also the number one as well, like two fifty or something like that. This is also a pre-order. Radio Spaceman. I picked up a copy from the local shop, and I've done a review of this. Uh, this reason I picked it up actually, so I could do a review. Love this book. Love this dope. dope. I, I wouldn't mind having a couple more of this this, this book. This is a uh, real nice. Um, the artwork in here is fantastic. I thought it was Mignola's art, but uh, it is the work of Greg Hinkle, who I can't say enough about. Uh, Mignola did a great job writing this, but Hinkle knocked it out of the park with the art and the combination in this book. This is a, I think a two, it's just a two uh, issue series, which is even better for me because I, I love short series. And it's a very fun to read. Uh, it's it's an, along the same um, level of fun, I would say, as uh, in a different way, as a Heavy Metal Drummer, which I just reviewed uh, uh, yesterday or this week. Love this book. Love this concept. I mean, I hope they take. I would actually do more with, with that character. It is such an awesome character. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Start. These are starting to come in now. <laughs> this, this was pre-ordered also. So. Uh, this is three ninety nine, so yeah, it's like about two fifty two, two fifty nine, something like that. I thought I ordered more than one, but I'm pretty sure I probably ordered more from some other, some other seller. Yeah, this was this is my David David Nakayama, um, Adam Hughes, David Nakayama, Jen Bartel to some degree. Those are people who I just buy their covers. The book is great; it's a bonus. You know, to me, it's just. Uh, a three ninety nine work of art. This is this is super cool. Love that yellow and um, an orange starburst together. Here it is, 
of Strange Number One, the A cover, which I pre-ordered. I think all the rest of the books will be pre-orders. Uh, so I have, uh, I think, uh, maybe a, a Scott Campbell already uh, that I've uh, picked up. Still got to read this. Haven't read it yet. Uh, it's a it's a pivotal book in the in the Doctor Strange universe, in the Strange universe. Here's the A cover of Miles Morales. What if Miles Morales were Captain America? And this is the, uh, not A cover, this is actually um, the variant cover. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I stand corrected. This may be the C cover. This is uh, Kari Andrews, another one of my favorite artists. So this is nice. Very, very cool. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this for a while. Uh, this got delayed. Um, <laughs> I ordered copy or cover B from uh, TFAW, Things from Another World, and it is, this is about, uh, this is called Silence, and it's on, um, who is it, what is it on? It's on Second Sight. This is about a cartoonist who's uh, going through some things, so that caught my attention right away. So I picked up a copy of this, which I was able to find when it finally came out. Uh, the cover A, there's a cover B that has like a, a page from a comic, uh, a, a comic book page, I should say, on the cover. And there's like an ink spilled on it. And there's like his, uh, his, his hand is in a, there's an ink, uh, uh, a dip pen or something like that. So I got an A and a B coming, a B coming pretty soon. The A has already arrived. Yeah, this is definitely a review candidate here. More fodder for reviews. And more Star Wars spec second printing of um, Crimson Crimson Tide Crimson uh, Crimson Rain, uh, Crimson Rain uh, second printing uh, with the um, uh, of um, the Darth Vader and uh, God Emilia Emilia Clark lookalike on the cover here. She looks so much. I don't know if you. The artist she used Amelia Clark as a model. But it looks a lot like her. So second printing of this. Still trying to find that uh, first printing of number one. Uh, the cover of the Connecting Knights of Ren. That's an elusive one. I may have to pay more for. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> I did pre-order one of these, and one of them I ordered uh, later on. So didn't have any. Now I have two of Ghost Rider number one. Hope it's good. And the irony of it all, <laughs> I pre-ordered this like months ago and gosh, and now it comes in with uh, this order from my comic shop. So now I got two of these at the, from different sources on the same day. Once again, didn't have any, now I've got two. So hopefully this is good and worth it. Last two books is Strange Academy number 16, which I've been missing. Now I can start reading it again because I was missing this. This is a, a hole in the gap. 17 just came out. Couldn't read that yet. Uh, so now I can, I think I've read up to 14. So I can read 15, 16, 17. Be all caught up on this so it can reboot pretty soon. This was a fine copy too. So there's some flaws on this. But I have to take it out of the bag to see. Maybe it's surface impressions or something like that. A bit of a bend in the middle, but you know, I'll, I'll take Strange Academy in almost any condition. Last book is The Dark Ages, number 5A. Wow, oh, this is the the Carnage of Forever, the Carnage Forever variant, I want to say. So, uh, Brian Coelho. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not sure if I pre ordered this or if I picked it up. I think I may have pre ordered this. Uh, usually the pre-orders don't have the stickers on the top like that, so that's what kind of threw me off. But uh, this this was a pre-order, so this was a, a discounted book too as well. Hey, good um, good stuff. I'm finally glad to get some of these things I can I can now attempt to read. <laughs> I've been waiting for someone for quite some time. Um, uh, that's uh, that's it for this week's uh, comic haul from uh, from the online sources. Uh, I've got something coming from things from another world. Uh, they charged me. They haven't shipped it yet. They're a little bit slow, but slow but steady. And uh, whenever that comes in, I'll be doing another one of these videos. So thanks for stopping by and sharing my haul with me. I'll be seeing you guys uh, later on. 
and uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. So uh, thanks a lot. Take care. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.